gets a little duct tape. this video about my entry to the Brick Earth competition and the secondary function of this video is to show you my favourite rig to use and loadout to use at Nerf Wars. And here it is right here. Now it does look like a big kind of uh, messy mess thing of duct tape but I'm just going to put it on right here so you can see that this is actually quite sophisticated. There we go, I had to go on like so. So you can see this is actually quite sophisticated piece of nerfing gear. I make a point here, there is velcro, it is not duct tape to me at all times, I can choose to take it off. And there you have it. There are separate little loops of duct tape as well. And what I can do is loop them through, there's a little carabiner here, I've cheated a little bit, it's not 100% duct tape, cheated a bit. My raven goes on right here. And as you can see, that hangs absolutely perfectly for me to just grab it at will without having to look. I can just grab it and use it. I go from empty handed to armed and shouldered in a very, very short space of time. And I got this idea from the Northern Bay Area Coalition of Nerfs Ultimate Soldier Loadout video, which I was tremendously impressed with. Two guys carrying two strifes, like so, and he could just grab them and use them whenever he wanted. And this is my primary, a top loading Raven. Um, very, very easy to just take darts, cram them into the top there, and it just means you keep your primary going for a little bit longer. So anyway, other videos about that, you've seen it in action in other videos. Um, that's the first feature of this rig, and I absolutely love it, because it fits in really, really well with my primary, being able to just do this. Do this all day. Now, Walcom said that your secondary should be able to do something that your primary can't do, which is exactly what this does for me. The rapid firing ability means I can lay down a lot of suppressive fire move from A to B very quickly and it also means that I can just grab and start firing spamming at a moment's notice without thinking. This is the thing for the thinking side of my brain, this is for the non-thinking side of my brain, I just love to spam. And I'm going to show you how it attaches to my blaster. Now you may notice this is offset a little bit, this isn't in the middle, the, uh, sorry, this isn't on the side of my rig the same as this is because this needs to be in a different place in order to fulfill its function. And I'm just going to loop this through here like so. And this is now attached to my rig and I haven't had it fall off yet. You can see how firm the fit is. And it hangs right there like that, which means at a moment's notice, I can just grab it and start firing. And so I've got my primary here, I can be firing with that, see something out the corner of my eye, and immediately start shooting. Now you'll notice there that I'm, um, that I'm in fact out of ammo at this point, but that's okay because I've thought of that. Right here there is a bit hanging down from my rig which I can attach to a belt loop simply by knotting it through. Now for the longest time this coupe style mag holder has been my preferred method of carrying mags in a Nerf war. Now the issue is for me with this, even though it's quite comfortable, it's absolutely superb, does the job nicely, I was having trouble remembering where I'd put my full mags and where I'd put my empty mags, because as the war goes on, you take mags out, you put mags in, and there's always a little bit of a fumble to look for the mag that you need. This is not the mag you're looking for. So I came up with this. This is a hoover box carried in duct tape, a hoover bag box, I mean, it'd be a bit bigger to be a hoover box. And whenever you need a new mag, you simply go to the bottom mag, take it out, and you know that that bottom mag is always going to be the one with ammo in, and you put the empty mags back up here. And all that means is there's a little bit less thinking needed, which, which, is, which is great for me, which means that you can always know exactly where your full mags are. And I'll just show you how that attaches. And there we have it, it's now right there. And so, this is actually out of ammo anyway. So I can take this mag out, I put it in the top, and I know that my empty mags are at the top. So if I need to stuff darts into mags, if I'm not stuffing darts into my raven, I can stuff them in the top mags. I, t I go to the bottom, I don't even need to look. In we go, and I can just carry right on fire. Absolutely superb. You can simply take the mag from down here without even looking. Correct way, to, by the way, to reload a raven mag is to hold your new mag at the bottom, like this. Nice and easy. I'll show you why that is right now. If I hold it near the top, and I'm going to try and put this in, the battery case right here will actually push the mags apart and mean that you end up nearly dropping one of them. Because it kind of pushes out your hand like that, you see how? 
that wasn't me kind of deliberately dropping it, although it could have been, let's face it. Um, whereas if you hold it at the bottom, that never ever happens. Hold it at the bottom, you can change as much as you want like that. Whereas if you hold it near the top, it pushes it apart and even though you can hold on to it, it does make it a little bit more difficult and there is a chance of dropping it. And it is a good thing to be fumbling around with things in the Nerf War. And again, if this were an empty mag, it would go back in the top right. Nothing happened. Like I was saying, you can take your emptier mags and put them in the top and then you know where they are to keep on reloading them as the game's going on, scavenging darts. And your full mags come from the bottom, which like I say, just means that everything needs a lot less thought. So again, just a quick review. Using primary, I can also use my secondary, and my lead. Both of these really, really easy to grab and start using to go from no hands to both hands full of blasters, which is a really, really useful thing to be able to do in a Nerf War. One final feature. If I do want a tertiary blaster or decide I want to give one of my other blasters a little bit of a break, I made this funky kind of holster for my, um, for my barricade. Literally just a bit of cereal box wrapped in duct tape. We've got Velcro bits around the sides there. There we go, so, it, so again, it Velcro's on as opposed to being actually duct taped to me. Um, I can just fit that very, very quickly. But watch out for that. Fit that very quickly into my leg, like so. I say very, very quickly. It's not designed to be fitted quickly. It's designed to kind of do a job. And again, this just kind of goes around any old belt loop that you can find. Like so. And even though the Raven kind of gets in the way, if the Raven wasn't there, just kind of grab it, use it, turn it on, fire it. Absolutely superb bit of kit. It goes back in nicely, holster as well. And that is my loadout. That is all the tactical gear that I use. And this is also the entry to the Britain of competition from me. Thank you very much for watching. This is Just a Jolt, signing off.